This summer, Belmont University's Mike Kerb College of Entertainment and Music Business gave nine students the unique opportunity to investigate the future of the music industry. Now, in its second year, the Pipeline Project is made up of nine students who were selected through a rigorous application interview process, representing the best of Belmont from a variety of disciplines and majors. More than a think tank, the Pipeline Project is a collaborative group effort to eliminate the new music industry and come up with innovative solutions to address some of its current challenges. This summer, we've developed many new ideas that we are very excited to share with you so that we might create conversation and initiate collaboration with all aspects of the music industry. We believe that the music business will thrive through cooperation, something we have learned through the support of Belmont University and cooperating with many other important individuals. Each Pipeline Project team member was assigned an industry mentor. They met on a regular basis to discuss not only Pipeline Project goals, but also personal and professional growth. The team also benefited from group mentors such as Mark Montgomery, the founder of Flow Thinkery, and Dr. Jeff Cornwall, who teaches entrepreneurship at Belmont University. The Pipeline Project would not have been possible without the full support of Dr. Bob Fisher, Belmont University's president, and Dr. Wesley Bola, the dean of the Mike Kerb College of Entertainment and Music Business. We also owe it big time to our project facilitators, Sarah Cates, our senior director of the Kerb College, Sarita Stewart, instructor of entertainment industry studies, and Suzanne Clement, the dean's assistant. The first step we took as a team was to reevaluate our view of the music industry. We spent several weeks totally immersed in industry literature, looking at everything from copyright law to new music technologies. After gaining an inside view of our own industry by attending the Billboard Country Music Summit, we then looked at industries related to music and discovered trends affecting all products in the digital age. This initial time of research allowed us to clearly identify the biggest challenges to today's music industry. The same digital technology that has brought the consumption of music to an all-time high has left the music industry struggling to monetize that consumption leaving content creators without proper monetary compensation. Our primary purpose for the summer was to not only recapture this lost revenue, but also to look for new revenue sources, ultimately increasing the profitability of the music industry. Declining album sales and diminishing royalty statements are nothing more than a quantitative representation of the absence of an actual engaging experience that we as an industry provide to our consumers. By being able to define consumerism, which lacks definition in the digital realm, especially with regards to music, we can begin to try and provide this experience and embody it within a new experience we can provide to the consumers that they want to enjoy. After this, we can start switching from a product-driven towards an experience-driven industry and be able to truly define what the new music industry is in our age. When our pipeline team began this summer, we were nine individuals with incredibly different personal and professional backgrounds, beliefs, and areas of expertise. Much like the varying facets of the music industry, we struggled to find a balance of our ideas to tackle music-related problems. Once we realized, however, that our personal skills were valuable when properly utilized, we worked much more effectively as a team, drawing from our past experiences to foster new inspiration. In the same way, we think that the music industry will benefit from increased cooperation and collaboration. The future of the music industry must involve constant conversation between content creators, the tech community, music industry professionals, and consumers. Rather than perceiving the current industry as broken, we believe that it is simply in a state of transition. Approaching the problem as if it can be fixed is a fruitless endeavor. Instead, we must help facilitate this transition by illuminating the catalysts. For almost all the concepts we have presented, there are innovators and entrepreneurs working towards putting them into action, which is a great sign. If all the aspects of the music industry work together, then we can more effectively make this transition. And thanks to Belmont University's Pipeline Project, students like us can be prepared for the upcoming new music industry. We hope that you take part with us as we look towards the future. And together, we can ensure that a sustainable music industry exists to provide quality content to all consumers while fairly compensating creators. Thank you.